Woo, I am tired. Are you guys tired? It has been a long week full of lots of exciting learning about the hydrosphere. Today is our very last uh, day of the hydrosphere. We're going to spend some time doing, sorry, the hydrosphere processes. Our next unit is all about how we humans are changing, wrecking. There's a little uh, spoiler alert for you. Wrecking the hydrosphere or impacting it would be a nicer way to say it. And um, but before that, we have to take a test to see what you know about just the general processes of the hydrosphere. So to, today's uh, assignment is all about reviewing for your test, which is actually going to be on Tuesday of next week. Monday of next week, I would like you to live zoom in with me. We're going to do a sea turtle necropsy with UNCW. It's a fig turtle, another spoiler alert, but it is pretty fun just to kind of see. It's going to give us a, a little taste of what it's like. Uh, how humans are impacting the hydrosphere and the animals that live in them. So that's what we're doing and look forward to it on Monday. The Zoom link will be posted on the homepage for you so that you can join us and do the, our activities as well. As far as Friday, today's work goes, we're doing a hydrosphere review. So for this review session, please complete the following review sheet in Google Documents. This should be done using the notes you took in your notebook. That's important. So. Could you easily copy and paste answers from Google into this? Yes. Will that help you at all on your test Tuesday? No. What's going to help you is going through your notebook, becoming familiar with it, and answering these questions in a uh, way that is your own. So how do we, t what was the percentage of the world's salt water? What did we say from our notes? Very specific. How did we uh, label the different parts of a river? What was a wetland? What is, what's the difference between spring tides and neap tides? And then what are the definitions to all these words? Okay, so I want you to spend time putting these in your own words or from our notes. It is not going to help you at all in your learning if you are just copying and pasting these from Google. Make good use of the time that you spend working on our work. Okay, that's really important. I have one additional resource for you. This is just kind of a checklist type of study guide. So this one is more of like a do answer the question study guide. This one is just a checklist. So something that you might want to look over that highlights the um, kind of key concepts of our unit. So if you click it, it'll bring you to a PDF of some information. Basically, it's just it's kind of messy. Um, this is how I learn and how I read and um, study things, so I made one for you. So it's got our key highlights of the units, like the, how salinity affects the density of water, what density is, the different ocean layers, and then the currents, and how the oceans affect the climate of coastal communities. Okay, So this assignment is worth 20 points, aka half of a test grade. That's really good for you for just studying, basically. So you can use this assignment to help on your exam so you can have it up as well. So take your time completing this assignment. It's going to be very beneficial for you. Again, and in big, bold, and red, it is going to be most beneficial for you to do the actual typing out of the answers instead of copying from Google so that you learn the content make good use of your time and efforts. So this, you will, again, make a copy of it, make your own copy, edit it, and then um, get going with your day. Right? Good luck, guys. If you have any questions as you're reviewing, by the way, we had a riveting science review uh, Zoom that only one of you participated in on Wednesday. So I hope that is telling both yourself and me and your parents that you are prepared for this exam. If you have questions, email me, but your education, again, and as always, is in your own hands. Have a great day.